breaking news. Wireless hacker organizations are threatening cyber terrorism against financial institutions around the world. Moreover, this time it's a new kind of hacking terror. Joining us in the field is reporter Kayla Torreson. What can you tell us, Kayla? This new hacking method is located in a server room that contains key information of financial institutions around the world. It's a hacking technique that penetrates using wireless backdoor chips that hack remotely. Is the wireless hacker organization attempting to attack an international bank using a wireless backdoor chip tonight? That's right. The wireless backdoor chip can paralyze servers of major companies in the U.S., China, and Korea. At 12 o'clock tonight, the hackers will attempt an attack on the international bank. In fact, there are defense systems against conventional hacking attacks at some financial institutions and government offices. But they're useless in situations where wireless backdoor attacks could lead to data leakage or internal system disruption. Kayla, what is the status of the International Bank right now? It's all calm and clear here. You wouldn't even know anything was going on. Ah, according to some real-time information I've just received, the International Bank has successfully avoided a wireless hacking crisis. The illegal RF detection system was said to be key in the process of preventing any penetration. What is this illegal RF detection system? It's a device that detects radio waves and informs users in real time if and when it detects illegal wireless frequency transmissions. So are cyber terror attacks completely blocked? Yes, thanks to the illegal RF detection system. It's likely that we won't have to worry about international cyber terror attacks in the future either. Reporting about SmartD that detected attacks from using the wireless backdoor chip. This is Fastest News. I'm Aaron Mayhew. Have a good night.